Hi, church family. Um, so the other day the Lord was just talking to me about what it looks like to turn a trial into a temple. Um, so I was reading in the book of Jonah, most of us know the story. Jonah was forced into a time where he could literally do nothing as God had put him in the belly of a whale. Um, so maybe not as bad, but for some of us in quarantine, you know, we're really on pause right now. And this can really be made a time of prayer. And I believe that God's calling us to a time of repentance, um, just like with Jonah and really like a redirection and realignment with his will. So that's what the whale was for Jonah. And that's what I feel like this time is for us. So not just in quarantine or this pause, but really in any trial or dark place and dark season that we go through. Jonah, for Jonah, it was really dark when he was in the whale. He actually referred to it as being in the belly of Sheol, which Sheol is just a Hebrew word for Hades or hell. And finally, after three days, it was from there that he, you know, offered thanksgiving to the Lord and he really started having his prayers heard and so just as we're in this time in quarantine i just wanted to encourage everyone to recognize it as a time of repentance and redirection and just aligning ourselves um taking the time to pray and turning quarantine but also turning the future trials and places of darkness in our lives into a temple and making it holy and but for right now taking this pause and really letting it just like Jonah was I know in my own life places of darkness like that have actually been places where I was really just being carried into exactly where the Lord wanted me um even if it looked like the enemy was doing it the Lord just had me exactly where he wanted me after all of it so letting this time also be a realignment and letting god just carry you exactly where he wants you to be yeah and so i just find to briefly share a little bit of what the lord's been speaking to me that parallels with what liz has been saying about jonah and um you know just as jonah was somewhat forced into this place of darkness and a place of slowing down and um you know of um contemplation and repentance and um, redirection uh, we've kind of been in that place as well as we all know we almost kind of feel like we're forced to slow down in this time um, but I believe that this is a special time that the Lord has orchestrated um, for us to enter into his rest um, and to be able to slow down I feel like he has extended grace for us to seek him in this time um, that doesn't mean that we're automatically going to be doing that, but that's what his purpose and desire is for this season, that we would choose grace, uh, choose to walk in that grace to seek after him. And he brought up Jeremiah 29, 13. It says, uh, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. And I believe in this time, that's, um, that's kind of what he's saying. If you look for me wholeheartedly in this time where I've slowed things down, you will find me. Um, and so I believe the purpose of this slowing down is for us to seek him um, because there's specific things that he wants to share uh, with his people. There's things that he wants to reveal to his people. And, um, and so it's also a time of preparation. And um, he also brought up the verse in Matthew 19, 17, where it talks about um, how you can't put old, um, new wine into old wineskins um, because then the wineskins will burst. And I was reading, a, I was listening to a message a couple of days back talking about this passage and the um, speaker had mentioned that um, there was a process back in the day that they would, um, that old wineskins would undergo where they'd repurpose them and actually reuse them. But before they could do that, they had to soak them in the water. Um, and as it was soaked in the water, the wineskins that were originally, that became stiff and hard and weak um, would be, um, become more malleable and flexible and actually would be able to be reused and new wine skin, a uh, new wine could be put in the old wine skins after soaking in the water. And the Lord kind of paralleled that um, with uh, what he wants to do right now with his people. And he brought up Ephesians 5, 6, uh, 526. And it talks about how 
talks about the church and it says to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of God's word. Um, and so I just encourage you guys to take advantage of this time, this pause, because it really is an opportunity for us to press into the Lord. There's specific things that he wants to share and reveal. Um, he wants to prepare us to receive new wine, new direction, new revelation, new insight. Um, and um, just as Jonah was brought into that place uh, of darkness and the Lord carried him to where he needed to be in that place as he sought him, I believe it's the same for us as we're in this place of slowing down. The Lord's carrying us and bringing us to a place um, that he has for us to be in. So I just encourage you guys with that and um, love you guys and looking forward to seeing you all soon.